Hello everybody and welcome to my Sunday review. This day, the 29th of September 2019. And firstly, I wish to thank everybody, every single person who watches my videos. Now, to start my video today and to introduce it, I'm very fortunate enough to have been able to sit in one of Blackpool's trams. The tram that sells all the pictures and calendars and pens etc. It's the shop tram which is always parked outside the wedding chapel. I thank the young man very very much for this. Now today as I said it's four o'clock and from seven o'clock this morning it has been continuous rain. I'm going to attempt to take us all around our usual venues. I'm going to try it the once. If it starts raining again, I will cease and call it a day, but I must try. The reason I must try is I know how much progress has been made this week at all the venues. So I'm going to start now thanking again the young man who let me sit inside this tram shop. Off we go then. Thank you very much, everybody. Our first port and call is obviously the Sands Venue Resort Hotel, just a couple of hundred yards away from the tram that I've just left. So it seems sensible to myself to start from here and I will work my way up and through the town. A full on view of the Sands Venue Resort Hotel Frontal View. The first of two sides at this venue. Just out of interest, the actual bus that we are passing is the one that would take you straight to the zoo. Just a point of interest, as it's here, I thought I would use it. There we are, this is the number 20 bus which parks right outside here for the zoo. Now to get back to the first site of this venue. just crossing the road now to show you this now my last video on the Sunday the last video on the Sunday that is a driver who has just gone the wrong way past me incredible a driver going in a no entry road straight onto the promenade as I was saying this time last Sunday there was an enormous amount of girders here I wonder where they've gone right I will be able to show you that in a couple of minutes here we have a view from this side right through to the other side there are a couple of girders here still as you can see this is a side view of the rear I'm going to show you a complete shot of the rear in a couple of seconds. The rear of the hotel and this is where all the girders have gone. They've all been placed on this roof here. So we can now see the extension to the stories and also I think what may be the roof. Look at that, that's where all the girders are that we see last Sunday. Look at that tremendous progress here. <laughs> Have just crossed the road to show you the same view from another angle. There's that white mobile crane in front again.
Well, I must show you this. This lovely family has just stopped me to inquire about who I am and I've told them and Audrey and Brian I'm asked to give explicit regards to Audrey and Brian thank you very very much thank you very very much indeed now this view here is of the second of the two sides again extensive work on the two stories and I think you can see the majority of the flooring already in place here. Our usual view from the front looking to the rear. A view of the side elevation of this second side. This completes our visit today to the Sands Venue Resort Hotel. Our next venue is Corporation Street, where again tremendous progress has been made. Now usually at Corporation Street we start our walk from the Rose and Crown which is at the other end of the road however today we will be starting from this end and I know that you will be pleasantly surprised at the progress here all the curbing all finished on either side of the road there's the first of the four of the bus shelters moving along and it's all becoming very clear now very clear indeed just going to reverse that's the area for the lay-by and the taxis the bus is the other side the taxis this side now I'm not sure if you will be able to remember I've just fallen into this great progress here because those rods that were placed they're no longer visible they've all been filled in those rods that will be supportive to the new area they've all been filled in look no more protruding rods and you can clearly see the extension for the pavement now I'm not going to go any further I'll tell you why I'm approaching the Rose and Crown now and there's a very very well known piece of music being played I'm going to see if I can avoid that at all costs so that is our visit to Corporation Street wonderful wonderful progress and you can see it all taking shape all taking shape now here at Corporation Street our next venue is just around the corner from where we have left this is the rear of the Premier Inn <laughs> now the other side of that security netting enormous progress has been made obviously I'm unable to show you that but from what I was told the other day enormous progress made uh -huh. 
a view of the side elevation. We are now at the front of the Premier Inn and like the rear, the other side of this security netting, enormous progress is being made, well on schedule. And it is now from here that we finish our visit to the Premier Inn. Our next venue is right in front of us, the Dean's Gate, which also will incorporate Edward Street. I'm so pleased the weather is being very good to me. It is really. I do believe, I do believe that I'm going to be successful in the complete tour. Now here we are, this is where the work starts. Quite a bit to tell you here. There we are, you can see what's happened. All the curbing is now in place. Now, what I'm told is this. Can you see those, those blocks there? Those, those tiny paving blocks there. From there, going to walk you up. From there to the start of Edward Street, that is going to be a pavement area, I'm told. All over there against that wall, that's going to be the extended pavement area and you can see a little channel here. Now, what I'm, what I'm told is that this is also some kind of pavement extension with a tree. A tree or two will be planted also along here. Again, please notice the tremendous, the, the tremendous work that's been carried on along these two roads. There we are now, that's new, I believe. I haven't noticed that in the past. Turning back to carry on our walk, which will take us to the entrance of this road right next door to the Washington Public House. Now you can see the block work has been virtually finished on either side of the road and you can see the area now that is for the traffic. And you can see where the extended pavement will be. I'll just show you there. There's some paving blocks there. And there's some flagstones or something there, which will reach right out to the start of the blocks there. We're nearly at the start of this road now. There's the Washington Public House across the road. And yes, a good job being done here. I'm going to work my way round now. There's our usual signs that we see.
across the other side of the road now, making our way down to Edward Street. And you can see clearly the road area and the road will be met with the extended pavements area. Just approaching Edward Street now. And you will notice quite a difference here. Obviously I, I have visited here during the week. I was unable to do any videoing just through the, the weather, the awful weather that we've had. But this is why I wanted to make every effort today to bring you right up to date. I'd like to first of all show you right across the road against that wall there, against that protruding wall there, all the flagstones that have been placed. Can you see it? That's the pedestrian area there. Haven't they done a nice job? They really, really have. And again, the majority of all the block work, also this side, all nicely finished. Just going to go back to show you those flagstones across the road. What a lovely job. And there's the lay-by right in front of us. Please don't forget there will also be trees across the road. Here's a tree area here, right in front of us. I will show you the post that signifies an area for a tree. All the flagstones all done right up to here. Marvellous. And there's the lay-by there across the road. Please don't forget that the tarmac company has to come back and add an extra layer on this road that you're looking at at the moment. Coming to the end now of Edward Street and I think I can show you another. Yes, there we are. There's another wooden post there. That's an area for a tree. Now we have reached the end of Edward Street. I think I can creep round here and show you. I can't make it round there, but I know I can make it round here. That's the rear of Abingdon Street Market in, in front. And there we see that sign and print shop and also the shop that was sold very recently next door which will be a vegetarian shop. Ah now this is this is what I can show you. A full on view, the full length of Edward Street. With of course I just mentioned to the left that is where a proposed hotel has been submitted. The old post office there hopefully will be renovated into a hotel with a shopping mall.
with a view again of all the lovely flagstones that have been placed along Edward Street. I would like to use this to close this video up. I do hope that everybody has enjoyed it. it I'm so pleased that I made it round because there was a lot of catching up to do a week a week of catching up and I hope I've shown it all well I've enjoyed actually doing it and also a surprise for myself meeting that family who asked who I was they asked if I was the one that makes the videos and I said yes and I was asked to mention the two nice names who are actually subscribers to my channel. Now I'm going to go home now and I'm going to edit this and upload it to YouTube and again firstly I want to thank everybody very much for watching my videos. Thank you very much and have a great evening. Bye bye now. Bye bye.